YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Any Double X. I'm back again with another video, man. Man, this is the the nighttime Chirac in the city vlog. You know, um, out here in search of a uh, man. I'm gonna try and find a barber where there's no violence going on in the shop. <coughs> I'm gonna see if I can get cleaned up for y'all, man. But I get cleaned up anyway, man. I'm looking really crazy right now. Big shout out to all my subscribers that's checking out the video. Oh, man. It's just, man, it's been an interesting journey so far. And uh, I'm just, I just feel blessed to be able to capture this, capture these precious moments in my life. Um, I have never done this much traveling in my life. Like up until 2018, I have been confined to um, New York, the state of New York, you know, where uh, I was doing a, I was doing a lot, man. I was doing a whole lot. And, um, <clears throat> you know, things got a little crazy and hectic as they do, you know, when you are uh, in this program, not knowing, you know, what the hell is going on, um, and I ended up, you know, I, I felt like people were asking me, people were, you know, trying to set me up, I got, got myself in all types of situations, and ended up living all over the state, just to see the same thing follow me all over the state, and now it's on a, more a grander, larger scale now that I'm really moving around now. But I feel blessed to do it and I know that God is with me throughout all the madness, just like He is with you. And oh my God, the timing on this. Cause I want you guys to take a look at this, what I'm seeing on the building here. Take a look at this. You guys see that? Right as I was saying, God is with me. Let's see if I can get a little. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Apologize for the shaking this, guys. Got a couple things in my hand. Look at this. Praise Jesus. Jesus is not on the cross anymore, but that is the sacrifice he made so that we can all be forgiven, you know? So that we can all be forgiven for our sin. If you haven't asked Jesus, Christ into your life, do so right now because you never know how much time you have to live, you know, in the blink of an eye, your life could be gone, you know, I think that's very important, uh, I see I'm starting to lose my light and so I'm gonna um, wait until I can get more light and then we'll keep this thing going like we always do, alright, hey hey, we are back on the street. I don't know what's going on, but uh, there's a lot of sirens going by. There's a lot of sirens going on, like something went down. I'm not sure what, but something definitely went down out here, okay? Man, I'm still trying to find a place. I don't know, guys. I don't know if uh, my mission will be completed today because it seems like after a certain time everything shuts down out here except for like you know liquor stores and drug spots things of that nature um i don't walk past a couple shops and everything was closed everything was closed so i'm gonna still search for a little bit see if i can find one and uh if not you guys will see by the end of this video, you know, that the mission will be complete. But I do have some important things to say. I hope you guys can see me because the lighting is not too good right now. And I don't have the best of cameras, but it's mine and it works and I'm grateful. But I definitely need to upgrade, okay? And I'm trying to get things back right, man, so we can get the podcast going again. We can get the live stream going again. I can, uh, you know, keep continuing to put this music out. Keep doing what I do. Keep growing and keep showing. 
All right, so we're gonna keep it moving. I'll see you guys on the next segment, okay? All right, this is not the end. Okay, so as you guys can see, you can take a look and see. The boy's still looking shabby. So, uh, I'm not gonna give up though, you know? Um, before I leave this place, I wanna clean up. I wanna get cleaned up, man. I wanna, you know? Cause I actually, I really hate coming on camera looking crazy like this, you know? But I guess this is a part of my situation. This is a part of my story. And just like I said, I gotta be authentic, you know? I can't just cut on my camera every time I'm looking, you know, decent, every time I get a haircut. So, you know, we're gonna keep this thing going, no? And yes, I got something to say. All right, so let's keep it going. We are here, we are here. This is the Ellis Barber Shop in Chicago, okay? This is the Ellis Barber Shop in Chicago, okay? We are here, we are here. This is Gifted International Barber Beauty Salon, okay? This is the spot to be. This is where you come right here. This is Ellis Barber Shop in Chicago, okay? You gotta come out to Oak Park, okay? This is gifted and international, and it's not just the name. You're gonna see my price switch 100 and, on 110%. We're talking about 350%, all right? You guys are gonna see. My guy, D, he's running this place. It's amazing, it's amazing, man. And it's worth every penny. I'm telling you right now. Alright, so we're gonna get to the next segment. I'm gonna sit down chill. Y'all gonna see my swag switch. It's gonna upgrade. I'm talking about yes, 350%. Alright, we're gonna get right back to it, man. Don't forget, smash those thumbs up, smash those likes, man. Big shout out to all my subscribers. Ellis Barber Shop in Chicago, man. So we are in the shop right now with my boy D, Master Barber at work, man. D. So how long have you been cutting, man? Like, did you go to uh, did you go to school for for cutting hair, or did you just learn naturally? Is this a gift from God, man? Uh, this is a gift from God. What happened was as a kid, you know, my mother used to have fish fries. You know, my mother got a lot of brothers and sisters. So, okay. Um, you know, I got a lot of brothers and uncles. What happened was. I guess at a party or whatever, I don't remember how, but it was a pair of clippers. They just appeared in our house. I don't know who, who they was or who they belonged to. Okay. But I picked them up, cleaned it up. My mom was strict about cleaning it up. And uh, I was cleaning it up, and I was playing them. They was in a crown room bag with all the attacks. Okay. And uh, I just picked them up, and I told my brother to come in. And, uh, of course, we went to the barber shop, but I ain't never really paid no attention to how they would do things because a lot of people back then, they didn't want younger guys around trying to learn how to cut hair. They didn't want to take up the time. And my uncle, he had a barber My great uncle had a barber shop. And I just go, used to go there and get my hair cut. So one day, I found a crown royal bag and I just told my brother to come in. He had real fine hair, real curly. And so I said, I'm going to cut his hair first because he's the only one that really will be like, come on, let's do it. Okay. And I just did it. My mother came home, she was like, uh, y'all went to the barbershop, why did you get your ass cut? I'm like, I didn't, I didn't go to the barbershop, I cut his ass. Wow. She said, you joking, right? I said, no, nah, man. And, you know, she didn't say nothing. So when my dad found out, when I, when I went to my dad's house over the weekend. Okay. And my dad seen that I had cut his ass. He, she, he was like, uh. Why didn't you get your ass cut when you went to the barber shop? I said, I didn't go to the barber shop. I wow. Wow. And he looked at me and he said, good. 
And he was like, well, if that's what you want to do, and him and my grandmother came in there and talked to me, they said, well, if that's what you want to do, then okay. So they, they just let me start bringing people in and out the country. Mm. And uh, the more I did it, the better I got. And mm. I think before the summer was over with, and I had made friends and with new people and was cutting their hair. Right. And they was just coming to get their hair cut. And at the time, I was paying people my allowance, 50 cents, to let them come into my spot and let me cut their hair. Wow. So I paid people to start off. That's dedication, man. And so after I started paying people, when I got good and I knew I was good, right. so I said, no, nah, you got to pay me now. Okay. And uh, I was like, it's $2. And so... Nobody had a problem with giving me the two dollars. That's it. Then I started stepping my game up by drawing Nike signs of people there. Right. Uh, Michael Jordan symbol. Okay. And people was like, "How did you learn how to do this?" And I, I can't explain it, but whatever I see, I can do. Okay. And, uh, and that's been since then. Mm. And it's truly a gift from God. And mm. not only did He bless me with this skill to do this, this particular skill has got me a lot of things. You know. For all the young people that that's out here killing and doing all the things you're doing, right. you don't have to be out here. I started this at seven and eight years old. Mm. I'm 45 now. Mm. I've been doing this for like a long time. I done bought houses, brand new cars. I'm talking about high-end cars, Mercedes, BMWs. I didn't had it. Two or three cribs I didn't bought. No issue. All you gotta do is be dedicated and learn what your purpose is in life with God. Mm. God has also blessed me to preach the word. Mm. So it sound like I'm a preacher, you're right, I'm a pastor. Mm. But God has blessed me to do these things simply because He needs us in His kingdom. Amen. I want to say this. Most people look at the drug dealer and you mad at the drug dealer because he's selling drugs and he's doing all the things that you feel that's wrong. Mm -hmm. But one thing that the drug dealer got that most people they got faith in their products. They got faith in what they're about to do. Mm -hmm. They got faith and they call the money to them. Okay. As a pastor and as a preacher, we uh -huh. should be looking down on them. We should take lessons from them and learn how to use our faith because we're supposed to be the ones riding around in the big pretty car mm -hmm. representing God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're the ones supposed to be living in these big old elaborate mansions. Mm -hmm. But the reason we don't is because we simply don't believe. We don't believe enough to do it. Mm. But he say, God say, trust in him with all your heart and lean out to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. But we lean to our understanding, which ain't his understanding, so simply, we'll lose every time. Mm. But that drug dealer, he believe in his product. He believe in all the other things that go with it. So what his faith is, his faith is in what he's about to do. Mm. And then God says, speak things that is not as though they are. The drug dealer, he speak his stuff into existence. I mm. need to make $5,000 a day or $20,000 a day. Mm -hmm. And he commands that to himself. Mm. His words did that. Mm. God framed the world out of words. He ain't touch nothing. Mm. But God said, let there be light. It was light. When he said, let the water separate, let it ferment. People don't understand. God never touched anything. The only person that touched things is us. And we're small gods. And by us being the small gods up under him, mean we can never detach ourselves from God. Mm. The wind, breath, air, the ruach, which is his spirit, mm -hmm. his soul that's in us, mm -hmm. keep us attached to him because when we die, they go back to him. That's a fact. But the reality of that is you can never separate yourself from God. And if you got that ability, because he said he made man in his image and his likeness, mm -hmm. meaning we got the same opportunities that anybody got. Mm -hmm. That that drug dealer with that car, that pastor with that car, that pastor with that big old mansion, that drug dealer with the big old mansion, God said he ran on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad at the drug dealer. Take one thing from him, and that's the fact that he got faith. Now all the crime and all the killing and all that that go with that, no, I right. don't believe in that. But right. what I do believe that he got enough faith that in his product and what he does that makes him what he is. Mm. I got enough faith in this. Mm -hmm. It brought me everything that I want. Mm. And I've called things into existence. Mm. Uh, to be great, you got to just understand your work and your purpose. Mm. And when you get that, you have success. Mm. Man, there you have it, folks. Man. That's how we started the empire, man. Now we up in Gifted International. You're going to see why this place is called Gifted, because my guy D is Gifted. All right?
So keep watching, man. Don't forget to smash those likes. Leave them comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought about that message, man. Real positive brother, man. I really, I love, I love this deal, man. But we gonna get back to it, though. Y'all gonna see Swagger gonna be up on the trillion after this. After these special messages, right? Are you having a sad because that family's enjoying a picnic in the park? Did that customer in front of you just speak a language that makes you irrationally angry? Well, this is a great time to try. Mind your own f***ing business. With Mind Your Own F***ing Business, you'll be able to grow the f*** up and act like a decent f***ing human being. Our patented technology allows you to pull your head out of your ass and see the world beyond the brim of your MAGA hat. Hi, honey. I saw some black people at the Starbucks today. Did you mind your own f***ing business? I sure f***ing did. <laughs> <laughs> Stop bothering those nice people today with Mind Your Own F***ing Business. Side effects may include not harassing people, no one getting arrested or murdered by police, a general sense of well-being for people of color, a lack of internet fame and or trolling and coexistence. Please consult your doctor if you are still a piece of shit after minding your own f***ing business as the symptoms may be a result of a deeper problem and require further treatment. Now available at Anthropology and Whole Foods. All right, guys, show me what you think. Are we lit? Uh, are we lit? Uh, are we lit? All right, I want y'all to leave a uh, comment in the comment section right now. And this is my boy D on fire. Look at this paper, man. Look at it. Look at it. You want to get like me? You come to Oak Park, okay? This is a gifted international, man. This is lit. This is the Ellis Barbershop in Chicago, man. Straight up and down. You've seen how I looked before I came in here, all right? You've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. Now he about to work some more. My boy about to work some more magic, man. Yo, D, man, I appreciate you, bro. All day, man. All day, man. All day. All right. So don't forget, man, leave the comments in the comment section. What do you think about this paper, man? What do you think about the crispy egg up, man? Let me know, man. Let me show my boy D some love. <clears throat> show my boy D some love. I'm gonna, uh, if y'all do want to come through and get a haircut, I'm going to leave the link in the description. You guys got a book appointment, right? So I'm going to leave the link to the site in my description, all right?